Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how to make this crochet bag. I am using synthetic cord, 3 millimeters in diameter. I need about 500 meters of this cord to make one bag. 4 millimeter hook, smaller hook to weave the ends. Scissors, a few stitch markers, and I also need a lighter to connect cords and to weave cords in the knitting. This time I will use leather handles. Handles can be also made with the cord. I need to make two exactly the same hexagons. Then I will attach them together. Before I start, I will apply a lighter to the end of the cord. Melt it a little bit and use my fingers to seal the end. Making magic loop to start the knitting. Chain of five. Three double crochets in a magic loop. Chain of two. Then I will continue with the same pattern of three double crochets in a magic loop and chain of two. I have to repeat this pattern four more times.
In this first round, I repeated uh, five times a pattern of uh, three double crochets and chain of two. I also have uh, five chains that I made right in the beginning of the knitting. And to finish this round, I have to make two more double crochets in a magic loop. Two double crochets. Technically, this is chain of five, but chain of three here, I'm gonna count as one double crochet. So when I'm gonna join this round, I'm gonna have uh, six repetitions of three double crochets and two chains between them. Joining this round with a slip stitch. I'm gonna find chain number three, going inside it and finishing our slip stitch. I will pull the short end of the yarn and tight our magic loop. That's the beginning of our first hexagon. Round number two. Beginning it with a slip stitch in this space right here. That's the space where we made our chain of two in previous round. Chain of five. After that, I will continue with the pattern of five double crochets and chain of two. First and the last double crochet in this section, I will be making in the space right here. One in here, another one in here. That's the space where we made chain of two in previous round. I will repeat this pattern five times. And in the last six section, I will make only four double crochets because I already have chain of five and I will make the joining in the third stitch from the hook. And these three stitches, I will count as one double crochet. Five double crochets. First one in this space. Next three double crochets in these spaces, in these stitches. And last double crochet in this space over here. Finishing this section with two chains. Moving to the next one. Again, five double crochets. First one goes here.
fifth double crochet in this space right here. Chain of two. Next section. Chain of two, section number four, Chain of two, Chain of two. Five sections are done. Finishing section number six with four double crochets. Joining the round with a slip stitch in the third stitch from the beginning. So in this third chain. I have to continue with the same pattern for the rest of the knitting. In each round I will add two double crochets in each section. Overall, that's going to be 12 extra double crochets in each section or 12 increases. Every round, I'm going to start with a slip stitch and chain of five. 
Then I will continue with double crochets, adding one double crochet on each side in the spaces where we have chain of two in previous rounds and one double crochet in one stitch. In the sixth round, I'm gonna add only one double crochet and continue with double crochets in every stitch. I have to continue with the same pattern until I have 31 double crochets in each section. That's gonna be round number 15. I will cut the cord and move to the next same hexagon. Let's make round number three together again. Slip stitch in this part. So going in the chain of two in, from previous round, taking the yarn and making slip stitch. Chain of five. Seven double crochets, one double crochet in this part, five double crochet in five stitches. Double crochet number seven in this space right here. Chain of two. Next section and the next seven double crochets. Double crochet number seven in this space. Chain of two. Section number three and seven double crochets.
In the last section, section number six, I'm making six double crochets. One double crochet in the space right here. And five more double crochets. Joining the round with a slip stitch in the chain number three. One, two, three. I have to continue with the same pattern for 12 more rounds. Round number 15 will be my last one. And I have to end up with 31 double crochets in each section. I will meet you when I have all 15 rounds done. To join these two hexagons together, I will have to make the third part of the back. Before I start, I'm going to place my markers in the middle of this part and this one. And that's where my opening for the back going to start. I'm going to find the double crochet number 15 from this side and I'm going to put a marker there. I'm going to do the same on this side and the same I'm going to do with other hacks again. That's how I'm going to mark the opening of the back. The third part of the back is a simple rectangle that we will attach uh, to two hexagons we already made. Starting with a chain of 12. And I will use this first uh, stitch, this slip knot, as my chain of one. So this chain of 12 will be the base of our rectangle. For the first row, I'm going to start with chain of 1. And then I will proceed with 12 single crochets in 12 stitches.
turning the work to the other side chain of one and 12 single crochets Turning the work to the other side, chain of one and twelve single crochets. chain of one and I will continue with the same pattern until I have 131 rows done I will meet you when I have all them done I finished making this part of the bag I have exactly 131 rows made with single crochets I double counted just to make sure that I have exactly the same number I need I'm not cutting the yarn because I'm going to use it for attaching this part to two hexagons. Before I start attaching all parts together, I will steam them through the cheesecloth. Attaching parts with a hook. That's the top of the back and that's the bottom. I counted from this uh, stitch. 15 double crochets and I put a marker right before a 15th one. I will start my attaching going in this stitch and I will go down. Now I'm gonna move my work upside down so it's gonna be easier to attach parts. This part I'm gonna put aside for now. My work is upside down. This is the bottom of the back. This is the top of the back going here. I will start my attaching now. I will be doing slip stitches on one side and another one. I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna do that. I also counted 15 rows. So I know that this part has to match. So till this stitch, I have to make 15 stitches on one side and 15 on the other one. That's going to help me uh, to stay uh, on stitches and to stay on my count. I have my loop here. The cord is uh, in the middle of two parts. I'm going to this loop over here. That's not the loop uh, uh, with the marker, but the next one. 
this stitch and this is uh, uh, 15th double crochet so this is 15th double crochet and this is its stitch so go into this stitch tighten it a little bit grabbing the yarn taking it through this stitch and through the loop on the hook now I will go to the my first row on this side grab the yarn and take it through the loop on the hook so once I went to the side with the hex again and to this part once so that's I made uh, two slip stitchers and uh, I used one stitch on one side and one on the other one now I'm going to the next stitch on a hexagon part grabbing the yarn taking it through the stitch and through the loop so next stitch here next round this is going to be our stitchers but I'm looking for the rounds so one round second round or rather row because I was not knitting in rounds here so that's first row second row so going to the stitch grabbing the yarn through the stitch and through the loop on the hook and next one
that the binding that I'm getting looks really nice, like a zigzag. And the markers are really good because they help him to stay uh, on the stitches and on the rows and not to miss any. I'm gonna use them for the next parts as well. Here um, I got uh, to the 15 stitch and uh, I have uh, two chains and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that part now. So I have to use uh, two stitches here and two on this side. I already used the one uh, that marker my is in. So I will just simply go in this side, in the chain of two, grab the yarn and make one stitch. I will go to the next loop on this side, to the next stitch. Again, I'm gonna go to this part with a chain of two. And I will make another slip stitch. Then I'm going to this part because it's gonna be a second uh, uh, stitch that I have to use on this side. So after that, I have to count uh, 31 rows on this side and I'm gonna put a marker on that. So it's gonna help me to stay uh, on stitches and not to miss uh, any rows and any stitches. And I will continue with the same way of binding. I just finished attaching these parts together. Here was my last stitch that I made. Now I need to get to this stitch on this side and start attaching the other part. For that, I will make 11 slip stitches in these 11 stitches. All done. Now I will start attaching the other part. I have my marker in place. I counted 15 double crochets from this point and that's gonna be the first stitch that I'm gonna go with my uh, attaching. Again the cord is in the middle of these two parts. I'm going to this stitch, taking the cord and finishing the slip stitch. Next I'm gonna go to this stitch on the side over here. Grab the yarn and finish the slip stitch. Before I continue, I'm gonna count 15 uh, rows here and I put a marker in the 15th row. So I know how many stitches I have to make on this side and on this one, just to match all the knitting and not miss uh, any rows and any stitches. I ran out of the cord and I would like to show you how I'm gonna attach the new one. I will use the lighter for that and I will apply the lighter, the fire of it, melt the ends a little bit and then press them together and make sure it's sealed. I'm gonna help uh, with my fingers to press them together to make sure the connection is sealed. I will give a good melt of both ends.
can quickly attach them together. Looks like a good connection. Now I can continue knitting. So that's where was our connection. So here on the other side, we can see a little bit of it. All work is done now. All parts are attached. This is our attachment, how it looks. And I just need to attach my leather handles. Handles can be also made with the same cord. This time I will be attaching these leather handles to my back. Thank you for watching, good luck with your projects and see you in the next videos!